Colleen Saronis here, and today I'm highlighting two brand new young adult authors, both of whom have stories to share that you may not be familiar with yet. The first book is Love, Hate, and Other Filters. This is the story of Maya Aziz, an Indian American Muslim teen living in Illinois. The narrator, Sonila Nankani, does a fantastic job capturing the sarcastic, edgy, very American sounding voice of Maya as well as the very Indian-sounding voices of her parents and relatives. In the book, the Urdu words are italicized, but it's so much more impactful hearing "Assalamu alaikum, the traditional greeting among Maya's Indian community. There are two storylines here. Maya's angst her senior year of high school as she navigates her feelings for two very different boys and her fear of telling her parents she wants to study film at NYU instead of a university close to home. Interspersed between Maya's story are brief snapshots leading up to a terror attack in Illinois. Immediately after the attack, Maya's school goes on lockdown, and we are right there with her as she huddles in a barricaded classroom. Maya prays for the safety of her classmates and herself, but even more forceful is her plea for the attacker not to be Muslim. This is a bigger concern than her own safety and something I hadn't considered before. The next book is A Girl Like That. This novel is told from four different points of view with a full cast. It is the story of Zarin Wadia, a 16-year-old Indian girl. Zarin and her friend Porus are already dead when the book begins. They are hovering over the wreckage of a car accident in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, watching their families grieve and the religious police investigate. In Jeddah, girls are only to be in the company of their brothers. Dating is considered a crime. Zarin and Porus are both considered outsiders in Jeddah, being non-Muslim and Indian. But their story is also retold by a few insiders, including Zarin's ex-boyfriend, Abdullah, his righteous sister, Michal, and Farin, a fellow student. Kirkus had this to say, A fast-paced, fascinating read about a community rarely seen in young adult novels in the West. A refreshingly nuanced narrative about gender in the Middle East. I really enjoyed this one. Both of these novels fit into multiple categories, including own voices, diverse voices. Each book is completely contemporary, relevant in so many ways. There's no question the authors bring their characters and settings to life because of their own experiences. Samira Ahmed was born in Bombay, India, and grew up in Illinois. Tanaz Bathina was born in Mumbai and raised in Riyadh, Jeddah, and Toronto. These new young adult novels expanded my heart and transported me right into what felt like the main character's skin, my favorite types of books. I hope each gains a wide readership. Look for them at shop.playaway.com. Thank you.